Welcome to Lake Los Angeles, California. Lake Los Angeles Avenue. I'm going to take you up the road to take a look at the lake, what's left of it, and around the community, a little tour. All right, All right we're cruising in the RV. It's Curtis. Hey. In uh, Lake Los Angeles. It's cold. We got the heater on. Listening to country music. And this town sits on the western edge of Mojave Desert, 2,600 feet above sea level, about 17 miles east of Palmdale. Today it has a population of about 12,000 people and 3,500 residents. Now locals call this place Lake LA. It basically has no crime and it's pretty safe. So welcome to the city of Lake Los Angeles. We're gonna head up the trail here to the former lake. Okay, so now we're gonna walk through the door of Lake LA. Let's see here, there we go. On our way. The region was originally called Wilsonia after President Woodrow Wilson. Then called Los Angeles Buttes. Because all these uh, beautiful buttes here. Standing above the profile around this community. And during the Antelope Valley real estate boom in 1967, the real estate developers bought 4,000 acres of land. They divided it into 4,500 lots. They filled in a natural lake and named it Lake Los Angeles. Now, in fact, there were two lakes, one for fishing and the other for swimming and boating. Now, the vision was really to have a resort town, lakefront luxury lot community in the most barren part of the high desert. It's basically a giant grid with lettered avenues running east and west and numbered streets running north and south. Lake LA had a fancy country club a high-end restaurant overlooking the recreational lake. There is also a small store, a bar, and a grill. And basically, this was to be the latest and the greatest recreational resort town where you could not only vacation, but live year-round with a reasonable one and a half hour commute to Los Angeles. Most of the land was even bought by people who never even visited the town. Streets have names like Big Lake Avenue, Lake Spring Avenue, Long Meadow Avenue, to draw attention to the lake lifestyle and away from the fact that this is really just a barren desert town. Lake Los Angeles never came to fruition and in the 1980s the lake was left to dry up. So today there's still about 13,000 people who live here but they primarily commute to places like Edwards Air Force Base, Los Angeles or other local towns. But this place is still pretty beautiful. It has some of the tallest Joshua trees in the county, wildlife sanctuaries, unchanged dirt back roads, rock formations, sandy washes, and wonderful desert sunsets. This is also a big movie and television filming place, dating back to 1938, fully equipped with facade building fronts, empty indoor spaces, and especially used for filming segments to stock footage for Bonanza. In episodes including The Mission, Twilight Zone, Big Shadow on the Land, and a few others. Now there's two primary filming locations for TV shows, feature films, music videos, and TV commercials. One's called the Four Acres Movie Location, and one's called the Club Ed Location. So our landscape out here is typical of Mojave Desert. It's scattered with these beautiful creosote bushes. Laria tridentata, various desert grasses, other very weather resilient plants. Wow, unfortunately, there's a lot of dumping going on out here. Got a couch, you know, a bucket of paint, TV, here's a TV here, all around our creosote bushes. So here's the side of the old Los Angeles Lake. Right here. It's all barren now. It used to be about five feet deep. Not anymore.
Well, here we are at the lake basin. You notice the slope here is about five feet coming down. And out here, here's where the lake would have been. This whole area, a five foot lake for all your recreational enjoyment. You look at the soil here, it's still kind of cracked like it, uh, it's a waterbed. And you don't have this whole slew of plants here like you have out here. So imagine you're just cruising around in your boat or you're swimming, you're doing a little fishing. This is your little haven out here. Recreational haven in the middle of the Mojave Desert. Now we're at the old hitching post feed and pet supply. And this is the setting of the movie To Live and Die in LA. 1985, starring William Peterson and William Defoe. And here's a snippet from the movie. You can see the exact building. Now, 18 minutes into the movie, we see our heroes. They're at some deserted warehouse where one of the partners gets murdered. And at the end of the scene, the cars race down 170th Street, which is out here. And the best view is looking from my angle on 171st Street, just south of Glenfell Avenue. Now today, there are a few more homes in the background here, but this original barn-like building is just the same, except it's painted red instead of white. The building's, of course, abandoned now. It was a great movie set. Now, on 145th Street and Avenue Q, over here, we have the Four Acres filming location. We got a great diner, an old gas station, and a motel. Everything you need for a Route 66 movie set. So this was a site for a couple films. Palm Springs in 2020. Identity in 2003. The Forever Purge in 2021. The Devil's Rejects in 25. And House of 100 Corpses in 2003. Among a couple other movies and films. We are on 150th Street. This is the last stop of our tour of Lake Los Angeles. And this here is a movie set. It's called Club Ed. It was built for the movie Eye of the Storm, starring Dennis Hopper. And after filming, the crew decided this classic Route 66 set was too good to tear down. So they left the buildings to the caretaker named Ed. Hence the name Club Ed. The set was also used in Star Trek Voyager. The motel was used in The Devil's Rejects and the diner was used in Slipstream. All right, so I hope you enjoyed our tour of Lake Los Angeles, California. Have a great day, thanks.